Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Say. And today we are reviewing the much anticipated Zombie Gaga doll. Um, this doll was sent to me recently by my, some friends at Monster High. Uh, I was super excited to receive her. Uh, it was a very pleasant, unexpected surprise. So thank you so, so much. Um, we are gonna review her for you guys. Uh, so for those who don't know, Zombie Gaga is a um, a special collector's edition doll uh, by Monster High um, that was designed in collaboration with uh, Lady Gaga and primarily her sister, Natalie Germanata. Um, the look for this doll was inspired very heavily by the outfit that Lady Gaga sports in her Born This Way music video. Um, so you see quite a bit of, inf of that influence throughout the doll. Um, and she's a very special treat for Monster High fans too because this is, I believe, the only, maybe like the third, like, collector's edition Monster High doll we've got. That wasn't a Comic-Con exclusive. That wasn't a Comic-Con exclusive, yeah. So it's very exciting for Monster High collectors, you know, to be getting another special, you know, deluxe collector's edition doll. Per usual, we're gonna start with the packaging. So Zombie Gaga comes in a very unique box. It's a triangular, you know, loosely Illuminati looking, <laughs> nice like plastic shell and casing. Um, and you can, you know, see the words Zombie Gaga written across. It's in, you know, the same font, the stylization of Lady Gaga and a lot of, you know, her that she uses for her albums and that kind of thing. And you can see the Monster High logo beneath that. Um, and there's a separate little compartment at the base that is where the stand and um, a second outfit is stored. So yes, oh my goodness. Only time we get stands nowadays are for these collector's edition dolls. I believe, don't quote me on this, but uh, you know it has the mark of the Born This Way Foundation, which is um, Lady Gaga's nonprofit. I believe a portion of the proceeds for this doll go to the Born This Way Foundation, so it is in some part to go towards a charitable cause. And as you can see along the box, there's this little like hot pink lining, which is really cool. And back of the box. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, it's basically a little bio for Zombie Gaga. Um, and it's pretty simple. It's nothing too crazy. Um, you know, she talks about her age. But she's ageless, apparently. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you can tell that this doll was, well, at least started, the concept started before the reboot. Because it definitely like had the same like format how some of the old dolls had, you know, with the age and the killer mm -hmm. quirks. It says monster quirk though instead of was freaky flaw. Freaky, yeah. And also, so someone else to credit for the design of this doll is um, so inspired by the artistry of Zombie Boy. Um, it says, which I believe he's a. I don't want to say too much about him because I just am not that knowledgeable, but I believe he's an artist and he's the one responsible for, or, you know, in some, to some extent, you know, designing the look for the Born This Way video and etc. So um, some of his information is written on the packaging as well. Yeah, it looks like, you know, this character's personality is very in line with the Kind Monsters movement that um, Monster High has been pushing. and all about, you know, being true to yourself and accepting of others, etc. It'll be interesting to see if they incorporate the Zombie Gaga character at all, you know, like in the show or in movies or anything, but I have no idea if they're going to be permitted to do that or not because, you know, it is a, you know, celebrity-themed collaboration doll, so I have no idea. Yeah, so far all the collector dolls um, haven't been any of, like, web episodes or, yeah, um, yeah movies, so... Yeah, it's just know. something like completely separate for adult collectors. Okay, so that covers the packaging, so we're gonna go ahead and open the school up. All right, so we just unboxed um, Zombie Gaga, and here her, here's her uh, close-up. She is rocking some cool designs on her face. First off, she has kind of a, a Skeleta smile with the extra 
almost like a stitched smile. Yeah, yeah it's very like her teeth, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she has that light pink lipstick on, and uh, her mold is a little extra special because it actually has a little hole in her mouth where her little bubble gum sticks out. If you want. Super cute. And I love her bubble gum. So she has the same kind of concept as Ghoul Sports Claudine, where uh, there's a little gum that sticks out of her uh, mouth. Super cute. And also when you remove it, it looks like she's blowing at you too. Mm -hmm. It's a translucent pink, really adorable. Yeah. Gives off some nice shine. In terms of her makeup, she has this very unique, um, very unique to Monster High. It's, um, she has an airbrush on dark purple eyeshadow that covers both the top and the bottom um, as well as on her forehead to uh, create that um, sunken in look as well as these unique little purple pink pupils with little hearts highlights in her eyes yeah, what's really interesting about, you know, the little cracks on, on the top, you know, uh, the top of her skull forehead, which I really appreciate, makes her look a lot more... You know, it's funny, she, in some ways, obviously, you know, she looks more skeletal than zombie-like, but what's, inter what's interesting about those marks on her forehead, I almost feel like they're kind of interchangeable between, um, like, cracks in a skull, but they almost look very vein-like mm -hmm. from certain angles, too. So that does give off a little bit of, like, a zombie vibe. Yeah, definitely all the airbrushing on her face uh, creates this illusion that is extra sunken in. It really highlights those areas. Uh, it's very cool. There's a lot going on on the cheekbones, too. Yeah. Like. And there's a tiny bit of glitter also throughout... Um, her eyeshadow yeah. is really nice. It's very subtle, but you see it a lot more when you look at her up close. She even has some, you know, airbrushing on her ears too, which is pretty cool for a doll. Uh, it's definitely um, a step up from some of the airbrushing they have done for some of the new Monster High dolls, where it's kind of just a sticker. <laughs> this is full on actual airbrushing, so it's definitely worth it. The extra buck. Yeah, this is a really intricate Monster High face mold. Maybe probably one of the most detailed ones I've seen. Yeah, there's a lot of airbrushing, there's a lot of little indentations, and looks different from different angles. And what's really interesting about her face, too, is that, it's, as you can see, it's a very pale, and this is the portion that's very zombie-like as well, it's a very pale grayish white, um, but it almost looks slightly translucent from like certain angles. And I'm very curious if you could almost like see through it kind of in certain lighting a little bit. I mean, you know, probably not, but it's a very interesting, you know, it doesn't give off the standard like, you know, rubber head kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, she also comes with a pair of glasses or sunglasses, I should say. Um, it's very standard. It's very Lady Gaga as well. She has probably one of my favorite hair color combinations. Gorgeous it's, hair. It's like this light pink with this lavender color. It's very, very pretty. Stunning hair. Yes. Yeah. So in the very front is a mixture. So, it's, so I guess the base color would be pink. And then uh, on the front peripheral, she has lavender highlights that covers about you know half her head. And it's tied up in the ponytail, but as you see in the back, the majority of her hair is pink. Yes. Yeah, and where the ponytail is tied, which is also, you know, very kind of Lady Gaga, there's others who do this, but um, it's not tied with like a hair tie, it's wrapped with like hair itself. Yeah. Yeah, so it's an actual like hair bound ponytail. Gorgeous hair, gorgeous face mold. That's like, in my opinion, the reason you buy this. Mm -hmm. I love the face and the hair. Yeah, you know, maybe for extra but a couple bucks. I wish they had you know, rooted eyelashes, but yeah. you know, still cute doll. And she also, uh, I don't think we mentioned, has um, you know the little black mark on her nose, uh, which is also something that makes her you know very skull-like, but. Um, it's nice to see them, you know, still doing that kind of thing, especially considering that, you know, reboot Skeleta, it looks like she might have white on her nose instead of black, or maybe they just did that for the collectors. Skeleta, no idea. So for Zombie Gaga's outfit, we have a, you know, very formal, uh, but very simple, all black, black on black on black um, tuxedo with a white, 
undershirt. The cool thing is this is a full outfit, which is really nice. Uh, a lot of time with Monster High, especially with like the Ever After Night boys now, like even though they have layers, it's just really one piece. But she actually has several pieces on her. So the cool thing is if you take this off, there's a little button right here. No Velcro, nice little button. It opens up to her white shirt on inside. Um, as well, she has these suspenders with little um, hearts buttons right here. Very cute. Um, her shirt is another piece. It's short sleeves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not connected to the pants at all. You can take the shirt off. You know, uh, the pants are separate too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very cute. Um, you know, it's obviously, as we mentioned before, this is it's completely inspired by, you know, Lady Gaga's look from the Born This Way music video. Um, it's a very simple outfit, um, and this is one of two outfits she comes with. This is the standard one that she's wearing in box. Um, I do really appreciate that there's almost, you know, like a separate look underneath with the suspenders. I, you know, suspenders are adorable on dolls. Um, this look is a little bit simple for my taste, but um, it is, you know, it's nice to have kind of a formal outfit. Um, it's, it's a very basic, um like fabric we use too. It's not very like either stiff or it's kind of soft. Very I guess standard material which is kind of weird. I, I'm surprised they didn't use like glitter or like as some kind of like embroidery, embroidery on yeah. her. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of simple but definitely I like that it's layered and all that. Yeah I mean there were some people who made the argument that um, you know if they were gonna do a Lady Gaga inspired doll it's kind of interesting. They um, they chose a look that uh, where the outfit was kind of simple and not one of the more you know kind of detailed outlandish outfits of you know of many that she's worn. Um, granted, I think part of the reason why this look was probably chosen is because of just that monstery skull theme of the tattoo you know, makeup. So it makes sense they went with the more monster-like look. And then she has you know a very um, dress pants. Um, very like very clean dress pants on um, and their uh, bell bottoms which covers her, her shoes and her shoes are super cool if I can show you that's one and one unfortunate thing about the pants is that yeah they're so long they cover the really you know awesome detailed shoes <laughs> um, which again, it's faithful to the original look, but it's just, it's hard to appreciate the shoes when they're so covered up. And also, she's so tall in them that she barely stays on the stand. So something else really cool is on the back of her suspenders, there is another little heart-shaped buckle, which is very cute. It's a little added detail on the back of this outfit. If you undress Zombie Gaga, you will notice she has a nice little skeletal mark on her neckline as well and she has the classic Monster High body mold. Original body mold. So this doll does not have the reboot, you know, Ever After High mold. And another little added detail, if you remove the black tuxedo jacket, Born This Way is inscribed inside the lining of the jacket. <laughs> so Zombie Gaga comes with two pairs of outfit, and this is the second one. She is wearing a short-sleeved plaid flannel. flannel. Um, it has a uh, Born This Way written over the black, mar uh, black stripes on it. It has a nice folded collar, which I really like. Yeah, it's pretty simple, you know, flannel, red. Born This Way outfit uh, basically just looks like a big oversized shirt <laughs> um, and it's slightly baggy on her um, and it kind of scrunches up if you put her in the stand with it um, but I do like it I really like the collar to be honest I have I, I don't know if this look or this outfit makes an appearance like in the Born This Way video I assume so it's probably based on yeah, another Lady Gaga outfit very very slutty. Um, I don't think it actually covers her butt all the way. So, mm -hmm. there's that. Yes, it's a scandalous outfit, um, which I think 
is great, you know, for adult collectors. Um, it's nice to have kind of a fashion forward, you know, kind of sexy outfit. Um, and it's true to the Lady Gaga theme. The bottom half of this outfit, it's just straight up, <laughs> just straight up fishnet leggings. Simple fishnet leggings. There's nothing, there's nothing at, pull it down really quick. There's nothing at the crotch or anything. It's yeah, just completely pure, you know, fishnet leggings, which I love them. I love, you know, like leggings, fishnet leggings on dolls. So uh, one of the features of Zombie Gaga that was talked about quite a bit are the shoes. Um, the shoes are true to um, what Lady Gaga wore in the Born This Way video. Um, forgive me if I screw up on any fashion terms, but I believe they are extremely high top, um, you know, like stiletto heels with a very, very long heel um, with dark lace, you know, molded up the top. So underneath um, the heel, the platform portion of it, um, it's hard to tell, but it says Love Lady Gaga. So it's signed by her. It's pretty cute. These are really awesome shoes. Um, and supposedly, yeah, this is one of the portions that um, Lady Gaga's sister put a lot of work into detailing and helping design. Because it's pure black, um, you can't see some of the details unless you look up close, but it's it's really nice. It's very high fashion. It's like a, as you can see on camera, it's yeah, kind of like a glisteny metallic black. Um, and these shoes are a little bit tougher to take on and off than standard Monster High shoes. I almost feel like they're made out of a different material. Definitely think they'll keep, you know, keep their shape. And they're very cool with this secondary outfit with the fishnet leggings. It's quite a bit easier to see her shoes. So one thing we forgot to mention is, uh, you know, with her very first promo picture, you know, they showed off her hands, and her hands are little uh, skeleton fingers with the words Lady Gaga printed on them. For the most part, I really love these hands. Uh, they have, you know, their long fingernails, and I love that they're kind of in a dramatic, dainty position. Um, and there are little finger bones painted on the top with little black spider webs on the side. So uh, definitely a lot of detail, you know, and paint went into these hands. So thank you to Monster High for sending us this lovely doll. Yes. We love her. She's very beautiful. We already pre-ordered her, but we <laughs> love her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, she's a, she's a very unique doll. I think uh, a lot of thought and, you know, love went into the creation of this doll. This, from head to toe, she's all, she's, in some ways she's very basic, very like, uh, in terms of clothing, she's, you know, very like modern, um, kind of like everyday attire plus, you know, formal wear where uh, there's not much going on until you look closely. Uh, you see a lot of Lady Gaga influences, like you see, you know, Born This Way written on her outfit. So it's definitely those subtleties that um, really shows that, you know, Whoever was in charge of creating this doll, the team, um, they really love Lady Gaga and Monster High. So I uh, really appreciate that. Um, her face is gorgeous and I think it's definitely a big selling point to uh, for this doll, you know. For 30 bucks, she's reasonably priced. Um, you know, two outfits plus you get the stand, it's something you don't see too often anymore. I can't really say I'm a big Lady Gaga fan, but uh, the doll's interesting enough for me to, you know, purchase her. It's definitely a doll that I would appreciate outside of those uh, themes. Again, you know, not to offend any little monsters out there, but yeah, speaking as someone who does not follow or listen to Lady Gaga nearly much as I used to, um, I still really love this doll. Um, I think it's a, you know, Zombie Gaga is a gorgeous doll in her own right, even removed from the Lady Gaga theme. Um, I think if you're a Monster High fan in general, I think she's unique and detailed and beautiful enough to add to your collection, especially if you're an adult collector. Um, you know, she has a lot of nice little flourishes and embellishments that I really think are uh, directed at and catered to the adult collectors, which 
I really appreciate and I really do sincerely hope Monster High continues to do this, you know, collector's doll series. I just, you know, love having these kind of dolls. They're really great for photography. And she truly does have a very unique face mold and an amazing, you know, uh, combination of hair colors. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing more you know, celebrity themed dolls, although I definitely think, you know, the folks at Monster High are talented and creative enough to come with, you know, their own original characters, but it is very cool to see these real life, you know, parallels to pop culture icons and celebrities. So yeah, it'll be interesting seeing if they do more stuff like that in the future. Um, if you're interested in pre-ordering Zombie Gaga for yourself, um, her official release date uh, in the U.S. Uh, she is already available in Aust Australia, but um, in the U.S. her official release date, I believe, is January 2nd. It's early January um, when people should start receiving her if you pre-ordered her from Amazon. But the pre-order is still ongoing and live. Uh, she's still available, last I checked. Um, so if you'd like to pre-order her, um, the link will be in the description below. Yeah, so I, you know, highly recommend her if you're if you're a big Lady Gaga fan, you should definitely get her. And you know what? If you're a big Monster High fan, like I said, this this is a gorgeous doll, you know, regardless of the theme. So thank you for joining us for our review of the Zombie Gaga doll. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think of her. If you're excited to get your own, let us know what you'd like to see us review next. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do lots of fun stuff, review lots of fun toys, and we will see you next time.